Hi, what's up everybody, Sam here. Today, we are going to take a quick look at the Xiaomi glasses camera. Okay, let me just take it off because um, it's a little bit uh, weird to wear this, right? First things first, this is basically a camera, just like the camera on your phone. And if you think it has something to do with AR or even VR, like you will get a giant sized projection or something and you want to use it to watch some porn, you are totally wrong. Because I thought exactly the same way at the beginning, that's why I bought it. But <coughs> turned out it's just a camera in a glasses form factor. <laughs> but money is all spent, let's uh, do a video anyway. Life really sucks, huh? Anyway, here, this video is just an unboxing and design walkthrough. I will do an in-depth review video after using it for more time. So please subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any video from me. Let's unbox the first. Currently, there's no other language for this device. Or oh, Chinese here and there, you see uh, the, some highlights, some basic information about this device. And also, I checked the app. It's uh, Chinese as well. The, though my phone is the global version, but it's just no other language. But no worries, I'll walk you through everything just like I did for other Xiaomi devices. This is what that's included in the box. We have the glasses camera, a cloth, a Chinese menu, and a pair of lenses. In case you are short-sighted, you can replace them with the correct lenses and install to the camera. A type C to a preparatory magnetic charging cable. Yes, it's magnetic. Oh, it's so strong. I like it. And also a type C to type A dongle. How sweet is that? Just ah, uh, plug in and you can charge. And of course, a giant box to put all of the contents in. This is what's inside. Now, let's move to the camera. This looks really like a classic AR glasses, isn't it? But they are different. We have a giant camera module here that houses a 50 megapixel main and a secondary 8 megapixel periscope camera, which enables up to 50 times zoom. Here on this side is an AR optical display made by Sony. It's adjustable. You can rotate up and down, left or right, to find the best viewing angle for this display. Yeah, also there is an indicator there. Beside here is the touch area. Moving on, we have lines of holes there on the temples. You might think they are speakers, but actually not. These are actually mics for audio recording. The nose pads feel soft. It's also adjustable no matter how small or how giant your nose is, it fits all. You see? In the middle of the bridge, there is a slot for you to put your corrected lenses. And as you can see, there is a round of soft rubber here that's wrapped this uh, temples. So yeah, it's comfortable to wear. One thing I want to complain is that it's not foldable. So you have to wear this hole like this or just wear it. This is how it looks like when I'm wearing it. I'm a man from the future. <laughs> Gosh, this uh, is a little bit exaggerated and really eye-catching and bad people would stare at you like you're an alien if you wear one of this on the street. I really want to put my daughter's reaction when she first saw me wearing it. She's four and she said, what that daddy? It looks ugly. <coughs> yeah, I think my daughter is just being honest. So I suggest you use it only when you need to. It's comfortable though. It's tight no matter how much how I shake, it just uh, stays there. <laughs> That's great. Anyway, I just took it around and shot a few video samples. They're all 1080p, 30fps, which is the only resolution that supports so far. Check it out. As for the in-depth review, like usability, pros and cons, whether you should buy it or not, I will just leave them to the next video. Please let me know what I should include in the next video as well down in the comments. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sammy, we'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna have fun with you.